slide show. Very touching, uh, very touching photos. Uh, I want to thank everyone for coming here to support me. Uh, really, to get to this point, it takes a village, and everyone here is my village. Uh, Dad, Linda, Michelle, Liz, Mercy, everyone is from the end. I can't thank you guys enough for supporting me in this journey. And I really just want to say that this is a uh, this is really important. This is a very important moment in my life. I'm just happy that everyone is here, and everyone has been here for, whether, whether it's been since I came to this country in 1999, or uh, whether I've known you for a year or two, everyone here has really touched me in a way, and wanted to, made me a better person, and made me want to be a person, better person, and pursue uh, this field, and I just want to thank each and every one of you for coming here and supporting me, and thank you again. Happy meal. <laughs> so Lena keep taking him to McDonald's, getting happy meal and happy meal toys. And on several occasions, they went in and got his toys, brought into the house. After a point, he said, no, no more happy meal. <laughs> <laughs> he got fed up with it. Now, um, another funny thing about him was, um, somehow he wanted to be like me in a way, but I was wearing glasses. And if I wearing glasses, was like cool to wear glasses, you know? So he said he couldn't see. <laughs> <laughs> so we took this guy to the audition for high test. So the guy was getting his eyes and was, he was confused. The, 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 the teacher was confused because there were a lot of inconsistencies in the visual evaluation. <laughs> So he came by and said, huh, I think the guy's lying. <laughs> <laughs> so I said, don't tell him anything. Take him the glasses. So we gave him the glasses. Placebo glasses. There was nothing in it. He went for about two years. And then, um, he started playing football in high school. And then um, the glasses were in his way. So he took the guys off and put the football and put the glasses back on again. Then he realized that, no, if we don't wear glasses, I can't see. <laughs> <laughs> I said, we don't see, you know. <laughs> anyway, that's another story. When he started driving, I, um, I bought him a car. I bought him a, a pink car, actually. And then uh, one day um, in high school, um, he was supposed to come home. He started from school. The house was about 15 minutes drive. And we waited and waited. The guy wasn't coming home. And then we had a call by the police. That they found his car in the ditch. <laughs> anyway, he was okay. Right? He was okay. But the car was down in the ditch. I asked him, so why school to the house? The said not too far, but the ditch was far away from the house. What happened? <laughs> this guy couldn't answer us. <laughs> but eventually, I found out that there was a girl that he was trying to be interested in. The ditch was not, not too far from the house. <laughs> <laughs> so I did that one to one. Said, no, this guy went somewhere else, you know. I said, so when I'm back to him, Instant gratification is not good. Instant gratification is not good. Effect gratification is good. So we have to learn. Anyway, um, I um, high school time. I wanted him to be to to have him up a bit. Um, took him to Ghana and sent him to an orphanage. And he spent three weeks in the orphanage. He spent three weeks with the orphans. There was no light. There was no electricity, there was no running water, there was no toilet as we know it. He spent three weeks in the orphanage and um, he helped to build um, portrait, a poultry farm for the orphans. And the idea was to toughen him up and to make him know that he was lucky to be where, you know, to be here. So that changed his life. From that point onwards, his life has changed, he became more humble. Um, 
And I must say that he wanted to be a doctor by all means, and he worked hard for it. It wasn't easy. It was really hard. Always think about home, always think about people that you can help, always make sure that whatever you have, it's, it's not for you alone. You have to share it and make sure people back home benefit from you being a doctor. So thank you, and I'm pleased and glad we're here on stage. Proud of Ed, and I know that there's been a lot that went into both of us making it to this point, and we're just so grateful and feel so blessed to have the opportunity to make a difference in the world by taking care of people and to have such a great family supporting us. Um, really, I don't think we could have gotten through medical school without being able to come to Chicago and spend time with you guys. And it was really just such a such a gift to meet Ed and to meet the whole Owl family, and I just I love you all very much. So, thank you.